Next up is creating our Google Tag Manager tag. So we have the triggers available, which is the GF track event. We have our variables. So now we need a tag to be able to send it on to analytics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this uh, gforms GA4. And for tag configuration, we have two options. We have configuration or event. And what we're going to want to select here is an event. And it's going to ask for set a configuration tag, uh, manually set ID, new tag. Um, how do we get this data? Well, we can go to Google Analytics 4, and then we can go into admin, into data streams, and then your measure mine ID is at the very top right here. It has a convenient copy button. I'm just going to go ahead and manually set the ID here. And then the event name is, do you want to use a recommended um, event? And in our case, uh, Google Analytics 4 has a, a ton of built-in events. And some of them are you know, relevant towards what you would like to do. For example, if you do retail e-commerce, um, you have all of these events. If you do for example, uh, jobs, education, real estate. There's events for that, but it's really hard to find an event that'll actually correspond to a gravity form submission. So there is one called generate lead. It says when a user submits a form or request for information, and it has a value and a currency parameter, but it doesn't quite fit a gravity form submission because we're being sending a bunch more data than value and currency, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the event name to G forms submission. And for event parameters, we have a bunch that we can pass on. So I'm just going to say uh, event category, and then that's going to correspond to a data layer variable and then event action, and that's gonna to correspond to an action. And we're just gonna pretty much do this uh, for the entire set. Ugh. Okay, event value. And remember this can be a, uh, it could be an actual currency value here. Um, so event value, and then you got source, which is a campaign source. Uh, we have medium. So this can be medium. We have term. So we're going to select term. And as I'm going through this, you can, you'll quickly realize you can name kind of whatever the, whatever uh, you want here. So let's see, campaign, I don't have that yet. Source medium, campaign term. There's one more I'm missing. Let's see here, uh, source. No, I already got source, sorry. Uh, poor planning on my part, but we'll get on with it. Content, that's what it is. Okay. And then a user property can be, you know, pretty much any of these that you want to map out to a user property. Um, I'll leave that up to you, but right now I'm just going to leave it totally blank. So event name, gforms underscore submission, and then I have all this data being passed on to the event as well. So the next thing we'll want to do is set up triggering. When does this data get passed on? And it's going to be when a form is submitted. So GF track event. And I'm going to save this and submit it and publish it. So in summary, we have a tag, which is gforms GA4, and it's gonna submit, I don't know what, okay, there we go. It's gonna submit all this data on the GF track event. And then we have the trigger, which is the GF track event, which is the form submission, and then the variables, which will, um, populate all the data being sent on to Google Analytics for.